Hello everyone, my name is Gottfried and in today's video I will be covering the possible career paths for mechanical engineering and what you can do with mechanical engineering degree. So for those of you who don't know, I graduated from undergrad with a mechanical engineering degree, but later on I decided to make that transition into software engineering. So in today's video, I will be highlighting the possible career paths for mechanical engineers and also put into perspective the value of the degree and how you can use it to achieve your career goals. So this will be a quick video, so let's just jump straight into it. So there are a lot of things you can do with a mechanical engineering degree. You can become a product manager, you can become a design engineer, you can become a thermal engineer, you can become a product engineer. You can also go into the managerial role where you manage a team that builds a product, but basically any industry that creates things, you can work for that industry using a mechanical engineering degree. Some of my friends work in the automotive industry and some of my friends also work in the consumer products um, industry, working for companies like Procter & Gamble with a mechanical engineering degree. You can do so many things with that degree. You are not just limited to being a mechanical engineer. So that's the first thing. There are so many career paths you can choose after you graduate with a mechanical engineering degree. Because mechanical engineering covers so many skill sets, you can choose to focus on one skill set and then maximize it. So as an example, in my undergrad at Purdue, I chose to enroll in mechanical engineering, but Purdue has this unique structure where they make all engineers go through this pipeline called FYE or first year engineering where you get to take um, similar courses you know mostly engineering courses to see if this is what you want to do and in those engineering courses they offer coding classes and I decided to enroll in those coding classes and throughout my undergraduate career I took more coding classes and decided that yes this is something that I would see myself doing for the long term so I decided to focus in on that so the main point that I'm trying to make is that you don't really have to look at your degree and think that you are confined within this degree no you, it's all about the skill set that you gain from pursuing that degree and it's all up to you to highlight each individual skill set that you think you can see yourself doing for the rest of your life on your resume and then using that resume to apply for jobs. Now granted, getting a job in another industry with a mechanical engineering degree may be difficult. So for example, if you try to pursue a software engineering um, job with a mechanical engineering degree, um, that will be difficult because in that situation, the recruiter is trained to look for candidates with a computer science degree because those type of candidates tend to have that skill set that match um, software engineering, right? So it is up to you to highlight those software engineering skill sets on your resume and then use that to apply for those jobs. So coming out of college, I had two resumes, one for software engineering and one for mechanical engineering. And I used each of them to apply for positions. And uh, luckily enough, I was able to get um, job offers with my mechanical engineering um, resume and also with my software engineering resume. So do not get married to the idea that yes, just because I graduated with a mechanical engineering degree, that is what I have to do for the rest of my life. No, that is not it at all. It's all about the skill set that you gain from pursuing that degree. And it's up to you to highlight those skill sets on your resume for the job that you want. So nowadays you see a lot of people going into boot camps to learn how to code and eventually get a job as a software engineer. And the reason that they're able to do that is because they were able to gain the skill sets of software engineering through that boot code. Granted, having that degree uh, puts you um, ahead of the line, right? But it is all about the skill set that you can gain from pursuing that degree. And, and if you are able to highlight that on your resume, you can pursue the job that you want. I wanted to share my thoughts on this because I've been getting um, some comments or some questions surrounding mechanical engineering and why I chose to make that transition. It's not necessarily because I thought that degree was worthless in any way. It's only because I chose to maximize a certain skill set that I gained from um, pursuing that degree. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below and I'll be sure to get to them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.